Chris Brown has decided to decline an invitation to be a guest at NBA All-Star Weekend because Brown wanted to actually play an All-Star Weekend. And it appears as though he had worked out a deal with the NBA to do just that in the celebrity game this year. According to Brown on his Insta story, he was asked to be in this NBA All-Star Weekend and play in the game only for them to call later and say that they couldn't do it because of their sponsor, Ruffles, the Chips. Brown said, at this point, I'm sick of people bothering me and I'm tired of living in the effing past. He went on to post emails of the NBA trying to get him to sit courtside, but they just didn't want Brown in the game. So he's good enough to sit courtside and be on camera for ESPN and the NBA, but According to Brown, he wasn't good enough to actually be a part of the game because Ruffles Chips would have pulled their sponsorship or had a problem with it, and they work with the NBA. So we're going to hear a message from the sponsor, which is Underdog Fantasy, my sponsor, and then I got something to say about this because I'm not happy about this one bit. If you are like me and love flexing your NBA knowledge, you should head over to the best place to play fantasy sports. That's Underdog Fantasy. For me, I love the pick'em game. It's super simple to play, too. All you got to do is go to the Underdog Fantasy website or app, pick whether a player will have a higher or lower stat line for that game, get all your picks right, and you can win up to 20 times your money. And when you sign up, if you use my code FERRO, your deposit will get doubled. You can't beat that. Again, head over to today's sponsor, Underdog Fantasy's website or app, use my code FERRO, and your first deposit will get doubled. Yeah, make sure you tap in with my sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. They accept your boy, open arms, and they would accept you. Use the promo code Feral. Sorry, a little shameless plug there. I'm not happy with what happened to Chris Brown, though. I got to be completely honest with you guys. I am not a domestic abuse apologist, but clearly Ruffles is uncomfortable with allowing Chris Brown to be a part of the NBA celebrity game, which I watched and yes, it was cool. Michael Parsons won the MVP. Kai Sanat held it down for the young uh, people. That game could have used a Chris Brown. And Chris Brown's the type of celebrity that would have brought out other people to be a part of the game if they heard he was doing it. I understand what Chris Brown did over a decade ago in the situation that involved Rihanna. They got physical with one another. I'm going to read to you guys a message from political and social activist Tamika Mallory because she said some stuff. Tamika posted on her Instagram, on the issue, brands have every right to choose who they want to work with or do not want to work with in situations surrounding domestic violence, sexual assault, et cetera, et cetera. I have questions for our community, especially our women. Does there come a point when a younger person who did something wrong gets to move forward or do we hold them to their actions forever? Does it matter that Rihanna, the victim, moved on? Should we pick up the ball and run with it? Is there something Chris Brown should be doing or something he should have done to earn back the respect of the people? How should we talk to our young people about redemption or the absence of such? These are not rhetorical questions. I really want to get a sense of how people genuinely feel. And let me say up front, I don't follow Chris Brown news, so I don't know all the details. My intention is to provoke a conversation that's bigger than one person. I don't speak for Tamika. I've actually never met Tamika. But I, again, Tamika's trying to have a bigger conversation because I, I want to be clear. She did say she was talking to our community. From what I see, our community has accepted Chris Brown with open arms. And by the way, some people did that many, many years ago. So I do believe Tamika's trying to have a bigger conversation. She just knows using Chris Brown as the the, the centerpiece of it will will start that conversation. Because to me, I I, I see people all, all around the country, they love Chris Brown. His tours do great. The brand and the sponsors and the people in suits and offices seemingly have not been as receptive to Chris Brown again. He's not the dude that does a lot of headlining at award shows. He may perform, but he's no longer the headliner. You never see him at the Grammys. You never see him performing at the big spots. You don't see Brown getting those looks like he used to get very so often in, in his career. And he's tried some stuff. Remember the Michael Jackson Epic BET Awards performance? There have been things that Brown has did, but he does not get a lot of commercials. He does not get a lot of endorsements. And the thing that bothers a lot of people is, yo, there was a spot, and, and God bless Rihanna, she's moved on and had children with ASAP Rocky, but there, and Chris Brown has moved on, 
There was a spot though where these two did get together for a brief time years later after everything that happened or allegedly happened between the two. So the, I guess the question that comes from that is if Rihanna was willing to give this brother a second chance, even if it's at the friendship level, because I have absolutely no idea what them two did when they got together, but they were spotted at games. I could care less. The question is though, how come this brother doesn't get a second chance? We've seen people do or be accused of doing a lot worse and it does not seem to hurt their brand deals as much as Chris. He can't get brand deals. And again, I come to you guys as a man, I'm 30 years of age. I have never in my life put my hands on a woman. And I'm not trying to say that to be I'm perfect. I'm not perfect, I'm far from it. But that's one of my bragging spots. That's a big thing to me. Anybody know me behind the scenes, they know that. That's like one of my biggest flexes because so many people have crossed that line. And, I, and once you cross it, I can't look at you the same. But there is a lot of business to be had with Chris Brown. And though I may not look at a person the same, these companies got to do what's best for business. And, and for years now, Chris Brown's audience, his, his following has shown these companies that, yo, he would be good for some type of business just because of the amount of fans that he's got, the music that he's still been a part of, the hit records that he still had. But for some odd reason, Chris Brown is the one that they will never get another chance to. We've seen people be accused of murder. I'm not even going to try to individualize this to a degree, but we've seen people be accused of a lot more. And I just think back to another moment in the culture. This is the what if this happened. You know, Jay-Z was in an elevator with his wife, Beyonce Knowles, and things happened. And Jay-Z opted to not get physical. Now, Jay-Z, since that moment, has not only had an incredible back end of his rap career, but he's went on to do some incredible things for music and people that look like me and you for music and their careers. You're pretty much telling me, since Chris Brown never got another shot after the Rihanna incident, if Jay would have had one bad night, if he would have uh, just a little bit, it would have been over. All of this success Jay's had over the last 10 years, 15 years, would have never happened. And I just don't know about that. I don't know. I, I'm not saying it either way. I'm just, I don't know about that. So basically we're now saying the cutoff is you cannot put your hands on any woman that's in the public space because we have seen people get second chances. I'm not individualizing this, put their hands on women that are, are not in the public space. I'm not justifying it. What I'm saying is it has happened. We've seen brands work with people, movies, all that stuff, work with people who have crossed that line domestically and did it to a woman or a man that's just not in the public space. So the, 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 the cutoff is because Rihanna was a star alongside Chris Brown, he can never get another shot. I don't know how I feel about that one. I don't know about that one. Time, love, and support. Y'all let me know. Chris Brown was apparently good enough to be a part of NBA All-Star Weekend, but not good enough to play in the game because Ruffles, the chip brand, was not here for it. I am out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing. Why build theirs? when I believe I can build my own. You've already done it, or I wouldn't be here. I'm already the only elite sports and music journalist in the game today. My goal is simple, to be the best there's ever been. So, please don't go. Make sure you subscribe and follow the journey. It truly means everything to me. I tell stories, I talk music, I cover sports, I am culture, I am Pharaoh.